Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Ben Luning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and this is Horst Luning, the senior taster of whiskey.com and today we have the honor to present to you our club bottling, whiskey.com club bottling 2024-2025 and it's a lot of Lomond. It's the Loch Lomond Amarone cask finish, 14 years old. 46% ABV. Mm -hmm. So this is an intense one. And I looked up the Amarone, what that's for a special cask is. I knew it already, but uh, better to, to Google it up than <laughs> forget it. Amarone is a uh, wine, an Italian wine from the region of Venetian. And Venezia is Venice, is the capital of Venezia. And this is a intense wine. And the word Amarone in Italy means uh, bitter. This does not mean that this wine is a bitter one, but it is a more spicy one, a more intense one. So therefore they gave this uh, wine the, uh, the appellation, <laughs> if you say it in French. Uh, appellazione. Italiano <laughs> of Amarone. Yeah, yeah, and this is the finishing. I don't know how long it laid in the cask. I think six to nine months, mm -hmm. something like this. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, and we actually did um, uh, select this pretty a while ago. So I'm not quite remembering what we chose back then. And it was a bit younger back then. And we only had a limited amount of maturation um, in that Amarone cask. So I'm really excited. Um, it's uh, for Loch Lomond, you always have to tell it is uh, a single malt. Loch Lomond produces, I would say, pretty much everything. They produce single malt, they produce uh, blended, they produce grain. They produce grain with 100% malt, which is a bit strange, but yeah, <laughs> that, that happens when you distill a malt on a column still, that is then 100% grain with uh, a grain with 100% malt. And they also do gin, they also do vodka, they do, yeah, they do everything. But this is a single malt, so it's, um, yeah, 100% malted barley and, uh, yeah, distilled on their swan neck pot stills and their straight neck pot stills. So they have three kinds of stills at Loch Lomond. One is a classical pot still with a uh, line arm heading downwards. So mm -hmm. after distilling, after reaching the neck, uh, the uh, raw whiskey just flows down uh, to the condenser. Then they have a second one, which is a pot still with the straight neck and on these straight necks are five five plates uh, I don't I don't know if they really do have plates but they do have a cooling ring on that these straight yeah. necks <clears throat> and uh, the third one are column stills on which as you said they produce uh, the grain grain and malt ingredients <laughs> and yeah. the results Always it. so it's in 2005 or 2009, I think there came these new regulations where they said uh, malt whiskey has to be distilled on pot stills. In former times, you had two differentiators one was how you made it, and the second, what was in it. Mm. So you can could have uh, a grain on a pot still and a malt on a column still, and you could name it that way. Today, a malt whiskey, a single malt, always has to be produced on a pot still. So, well, it's yeah. Uh, there only I think basically. there's one or two distilleries that actually did malt on the column still. So, yeah. so and they <laughs> are <laughs> able. They were one of them who were yeah. They are still able to produce a single blended whiskey. A single blend. <laughs> <laughs> so from a single distillery, uh, but blended from a column still grain whiskey and a pot still malt whiskey. I don't know uh, if they have that. I don't know if it's allowed to tell <laughs> them, call it that, but <laughs> it would, yeah, it would. Unfortunately, it would make sense. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the still 2010 and a bottle to uh, 2024, so 14 years. Not colored, not chill filtered, and yeah, finished in Amarone cask. 46% which is, uh, it's a not a sweet wine from uh, from Italy but it's what is it called it's called bitter so it's the direct uh, translation means bitter but it's only well it's a wine it's a wine and uh, not to uh, 
compromise it with a Marsala wine from Sicily, from the big island in the south of Italy, uh, where they have those fortified wines. This mm -hmm. is not a fortified wine. This is not a, fortified, a normal okay. Baric wine. Mm -hmm. And if I remember right, Amarono was the last wine which got a originale, uh, traditionale mm -hmm. something. <laughs> uh, so it's quite Regional a new protection. one. Uh, quite new one, yes. So the nose is Highland, very typical Highland. Um, and the La Loma distillery lies very close to the border to the lowlands, but it's a Highland and this smell definitely tells it it's deep into the islands. This is a very typical Highland whiskey. You have this maltiness on the nose together with a fruitiness on the nose, big, big fruitiness. In the back, I already have some spiciness from casks. Yes, there's this light, spicy oakiness in the back. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's a, a wonderfully balanced whiskey. It's complex. It does have uh, that. What you said with uh, Highland, I, I. I, I associate always Highland with single malt, and uh, it's wonderfully. Uh, it's not as sweet as as you might know from other whiskies. Um, yeah, so you have that little bit of oakiness, a little bit of spiciness, that fruitiness, that sweetness. From my point of view, it comes a lot from the the distillery character. Loch Lomond has a lot of um, yeah knowledge and a lot of expertise in distilling, so they have uh, stills. Um, and they produce a very fruity uh, style of, of new make. Their style of new make is um, different as they have nine different, um, or is it 12, nine or 12, I think theoretical 12 and nine that they actually do use um, uh, new make. So there are tons of them which are very fruity and others a bit more spicy. Yeah, but you have yeah. to divide it by two because they produce as well uh, smoky whiskey. Oh, yeah, 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 so cute, so curious. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. I found some uh, tasting notes on the back. Oh, okay. So, just before we're uh, tasting, have them. The nose delivers notes of rhubarb, compote, and wine-soaked wild red berries. These fruitiness, these wild red berries. I have them definitely here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then the, the palette we, we leave out until we had it on the palette. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. We had the German take before, mm. and uh, now this is the third or fourth sip I have mm -hmm. and the more you get it on your tongue mm -hmm. the more intense it becomes so this is really intense you have this spiciness uh, this oakiness on the tongue with a very light uh, dark chocolate character this light bitterness in it and this might come from the uh, cask the Amarone casks mm -hmm. and uh, together with the big warming influence in your mouth and you throw it. Mm -hmm. So this is a very big and hefty and s not strong, but voluminous aftertaste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Also my fourth sip, um, it's how it builds up. Yeah. In, in the first one, it was just mm, nice Highland whiskey, well balanced, a little bit of spiciness in there. Now it's a full strength, full volume, mm. spiciness, hefty. It was just a little bit of switch, smidge of sweetness and fruitiness um, in there. Yeah, what <laughs> do they tell here? Uh, we haven't uh, read that before. On the palate, tangy apple and sherry, not the sherry wine from Spain, but sherry, the, the fruit. Sherry. Is mm -hmm. balanced perfectly with dark chocolate and a touch of sweet spice. This mm -hmm. dark chocolate is here and the sweet spice you had. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So the apple I do not have. Um, no. Mm -hmm. oh. But it's it's hefty. And strangely enough, I had that in the end of the German taste as well. Um, 
for me the 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 heftiness the oakiness a little bit of like bit of sweetness going on is a remembrance of smoke in there for me mm -hmm. it's strange but oh, uh, I don't have that no. a, a very maybe maybe not smoking them, but ash and uh, like damp and and yeah, this depends how the casks were treated mm -hmm. and uh, you have this boundary layer between the charcoal and the uh, the toasting of the staves mm -hmm. so there's a, a boundary layer in between and there you might have this uncomplete combustion uncomplete burning yeah a little bit of females the in there yeah Mm, oh, I do like it. Um, yeah, I think we say that every time we have the, the whiskey.com or whiskey.de club bottling. Oh, this is an exceptional <laughs> one. Yeah, but I really do like it again. <laughs> yeah, so we, we selected and it. I have to say uh, it is very, uh, yeah, you have to have a, a big effort to really achieve this because uh, you know what you had before and everyone should be at least equal yeah. if not better so it's very very difficult to select the right ones and then have the capacity of the distillery and the cask to, to bring out the, those many bottles so yeah the, but the the beauty about this is uh, Michael Henry I think it's he's called Michael Henry uh, was it on the bottle yeah Master blender, yeah, Henry. I can can't write his handwriting. It's just a signature. Uh, I think uh, he is. Uh, he's a very, very good. Um, uh, he's a he's a really a whiskey geek, and he's very, very, very much into blending. And his, this master blender is very good. So it didn't take took us long, and not many. Uh, what do you call it? Probes. Uh, or Specials, samplings, yeah. samplings to to get this right. So yeah. Loch Lomond, when I first visited them, they were a mass-producing operation, mm -hmm. and then um, they were sold. I think twice, mm -hmm. weren't they? And the more and more they went into detail, and the more and the more they uh, discovered their gems and brought them out and diversified themselves. So they're no longer this big blending company, but they are going very much in detail for their, uh, yeah, for special bottling. So they yeah, increased well, quality a lot. Yeah, I would really like to, to visit them again because I was there in, I think, 18 or something. I was there 13. 13, yeah. yeah. And that was just yeah, a huge building and you can only get a, a tour when you are VIP. Um, but they are really at the tourist location of Scotland. <laughs> yeah, you go to Loch Lomond to fishing, to yeah, bathing, camping, golfing, whatever you name it. And it's just forty-five minutes from Glasgow, so this is the tourist location of yeah Scotland and most of England as well. So yeah, they could have tourists en masse in the <laughs> distillery. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. For everybody who is uh, living in the Netherlands or Belgium, this is the whiskey.de or whiskey.com club bottling. So um, we do have a club that gives you a 5% discount on all not discounted products and also not on books because that is illegal in Germany to give uh, discounts on books. <coughs> and yeah. Also, you get uh, access to the Club Vorverkauf or Club Presale, uh, Club Exclusives, that's what it's called. And uh, this is very special bottlings where you usually they are sold out before you can even click on the internet. And with that, you we have them a little bit longer in our stock for our club members. So um, when you buy a club for 60 euros, you get this bottling which is about 50 euros and yeah so this is an entry fee to get one year membership and this is not a uh, subscription model so if you buy this uh, you have one year it runs out you're out of the club so there's no subscription that we take take uh, 60 volume, euros yeah. from yeah. you every year so um, you have to decide yourself too you have to decide yourself how long you want to be a club member uh, and every, every year n a new yeah. every new year you buy a new one and um, yeah you can decide just before the club bottling ends you can yeah buy the old club bottling if you don't think that the new one is any good but uh, usually uh, we find very very good club bottlings yeah the, the last ones were really really good yeah and um, if the amount of club bottle bottlings or b bottles left is high enough, 
yeah. then you are able to buy a second one. Yeah. Uh, so this might be two as well, <laughs> so that you buy, may have two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that was it. Have a look uh, at whiskey.com if you want to get the Loch Lomond 14 year old Amarona finish whiskey.com club bottling. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time.